Hello and welcome to JustCompareCars.com My name's James and today I'm going to be doing a walk around video of the 2016 Nissan Navara Tecna Auto It's done 89,000 miles and it's got full service history Just one previous keeper and it's got the remaining amount of the 5 years or 100,000 miles manufacturer's warranty Okay, so uh, we've been doing the walk around videos for quite a while now um, The idea being that you get to view the vehicle but from the comfort of your own home um, but as if you were here in person. I'm sure you've been the same as me where um, you've seen a vehicle that you like um, and then you've gone to view it and it's completely different to what it was described as or as the pictures portrayed it to be. Um, so what I'll be doing today is as I go round it I'll show you any marks, any scratches, any dints. Uh, I'll be pointing those out to you. Um, we'll have a look at all the wheels and the tyres. We'll look in the back um, we'll look inside the vehicle, look at the functionality of everything, show you things working that you'll need to see working if you're here in person. Right down to the finer details such as what it smells like inside. Um, I'm sure you're the same as me, you know, if you're an ex-smoker or you're a non-smoker and you don't want to smell, obviously, in a vehicle that maybe does smell of cigarettes, for instance, um, we'll go down to that detail. What we'll do after we've looked in the cab, we'll look under the bonnet and then finally we'll look under the chassis and look at the spare tyre. Um, there's a few things to mention before we continue. I am recording the video in uh, 4K, so whatever you're watching it on, obviously make sure it's on the best possible setting to view it. Um, if you're happy with what you see on the video and you want to buy it, um, it's worth mentioning that we can deliver the vehicle anywhere in the world. Obviously in the UK it's much easier, I just need a postcode and we can give you a price to deliver it. Um, obviously if it's going worldwide we just need to know which port you want dropping it off at um, we also offer very competitive finance rates and we can even do a VAT assist so it means that obviously if you wouldn't want to put the VAT in as a deposit we can even look at doing a full lend so that you borrow the VAT as well um, an application usually takes about five minutes and we can usually get you a decision within an hour Right, so let's start with the front and we'll work our way around. I'll start with the bonnet and we can go from there. Um, I will apologise, it's first thing in the morning. Um, obviously it's a little bit wet still from the dew. Um, but as you can hopefully see, it's in really very good condition. Um, there are no real dints or anything on the bonnet that I can see, but there are a few little marks up here. Um, not sure where that's happened, but I can tell you, I can't actually feel the, the scratches on my finger. That would usually suggest that they would be very easy to come off. There's no others I can see. Let's have a quick look and see if there's any stone chips on the front. There doesn't seem to be any obvious ones. That's good. Right, let's go on to the front bumper and headlights. So, um, driver side headlights, as you can see, there's no damage to it. It's in nice condition and it's clean. Let's work our way around the bumper. Got a very small mark. Oh no, it's just polish. Ignore that. So there's nothing on the bumper at all, it's really good condition, there's no obvious stone chips. Passenger side headlight, matching to the driver is in great condition. Right, let's go on to the front wing. And as you can see, it's in great condition. I have got a very, very light... I don't know if it's a scratch or not, but it's a... If you can, I don't know if you can see that even. It's like it's one of those ones where, you know, if you rub against a bush or something, it just gets onto it. Right, so, um, passenger side front wheel and tyre. As you can see, the wheel's in great condition. It's a Continental tyre. And there's approximately, I would say, five millimetres of tread. So plenty of tread on that. As we go round, it will find out if it's a matching set. Okay, so let's work our way down the passenger side again. Same principle, I'm just looking for any marks, any scratches or any dints. I've got to tell you, there's nothing that's obvious. Yeah, it's obviously in fantastic condition. Right, so this one obviously is a Tecna, so uh, you'll know it's got the chrome mirror backs, but it's also got a camera under each of the mirrors. There's also one under the front of the badge and then one at the rear, which gives you this really good 360 degree view from the rear camera, which I'll show you when we're inside. Let's have a quick look on the roof. We can see they've got some Thule bars. 
and the roof panels in good condition as you can see nice and straight okay onto the rear quarter and we can obviously see that we've got a really high quality canopy on the back i believe that this is a nissan canopy and it would have been very very expensive when new um, what i like to look at is this area here when uh, we're doing a video gives you a really good indication if it's a good match and as you can see it's spot on right let's go on to the rear quarter and as you can see it matches the rest of the vehicle it's in very good straight condition there's no obvious damage no obvious marks or dents and it's really clean onto the passenger side rear wheel and tyre again the wheels in great condition and as you can see it's a matching continental tyre um, I'd say it's a little bit more shed on the back of this one it's probably 6mm but obviously it's a guesstimate rear light no obvious damage in good condition so obviously it's a Techno so it's got reversing park sensors and the camera that we discussed earlier on this one's got a tow bar and as I'm sure you'll know this one will tow 3.5 tonne um, one of a few vehicles in the UK at the moment that can do that. So let's have a look at the rear door. And this line here you can see is just it's a watermark. Obviously it's been polished recently and the water's gone onto it and it's just streamed down. And there's a few of those. But there's no scratches or dents that I can see. And the bumper's in great condition as well. I've seen a few of these with little dents on, they're obviously not very, uh, they're quite susceptible to uh, dents, but there's none on those at all. Okay, so have a look at the canopy. So as you can see, it's a, a proper one. It really is uh, very sturdy, I know that. Um, it's got good pneumatics on it, tinted rear windows and side let's have a quick look at those ones that open on the side oh they're locked i've not got the keys inside I'll leave that for the moment but they do open on the sides open the rear door let's just pull that back a bit you can see that okay so it's a decent size aperture in regards to what you can get in there obviously if you don't want the canopy you can soon whip it off it's not a problem so everything's in good condition in the back it's obviously not had a hard life these are very hard wearing but they do show the marks obviously in them when they've had a heavy life and as you can see there's nothing on there at all same on the back shut that up right so um driver side rear light again in good condition as is it all to be honest with you Okay, so rear quarter, driver side now obviously, is in great condition, there's no obvious damage I can see, no marks, stretches or dints, and the same for the canopy as well, it's in really good condition, as I say those canopies are very expensive when they're new. So uh, driver side rear wheel and tyres, so again it's a continental tyre, wheels in good condition, and it's matching tread to the side, probably 6mm. Right, so let's work our way down the driver's side. Same principle as before, I'm just looking for any marks, scratches or dints. As I'm sure you'll agree, there aren't any. Not that I can see anyway. Um, there's actually a little one there. You can see that. I can't feel it. In fact, if you can see, as I'm rubbing it, it's disappearing. So it's just nothing. There's a small mark there. Can just feel it on my finger, but um, it's not bad. You could even touch that in if you're bothered. Mirror back, good condition, as is the mirror. Front wing. Again, in fantastic condition. Okay, so onto the driver's side, front wheel and tyre. Again, wheels in good condition, as you can tell. It's a Continental tyre, so it's matching. Um, and again, I think it's matching to the other side. It's about five or six mil. 
So the great news is obviously it's a matching set of Continentals all around. Okay, so windscreen. Uh, there are no stone chips that I can see. There's certainly no cracks, so it's all in good condition. Um, obviously this one is a Tecna, so as long as you've got your key in your pocket, you can press that button that will lock it and unlock it. This one's already unlocked, so I don't need to do that. It'll just shout at me. Um, so I'm going to pull that back a little bit. Driver side armrest. Um, it's got electric windows times four. It's got uh, electric driver's seat in good condition. A little bit of wear on the tire, on the tire, on the bolster there, but the bolster's nice and firm. The seat's nice and clean. Okay, so we've got. Uh, there's a button missing for that, but that is just the backrest. It still works, so you can go forwards and backwards. And you can see the seat works fine. You can go all the way up as well. And all the way down. And as you can see, uh, also what I like is that the uh, that button there, it pumps up the bolster at the back of the, back of the seat, as you can see it moving there, which means that no matter you know what your seating position is you can get it so that it's really comfortable to you uh right so i'm just zoom out on the steering wheel to the right hand side you've got your hands free uh cruise control and then to the left is your media center let's uh start the engine up simply put your foot on the brake press the button and it, it fires into action beautifully smooth um obviously nissan know how to make a fantastic engine at the end of the day we just zoom back in we can have a look at the media center um, it's got obviously one of the best navigation systems that i've seen personally in pickup trucks obviously these new style pickup trucks that we sell they're all very very good anyway but nissan just seems to have the edge on it um cd player standard sd card slot so you can you know play music through there you can put extra items on there that you wish um it's got the navigation system um, it's got a DAB radio, as you can see you press the DAB list and you've got a great big list of air obviously. Also uh, additionally you've got a USB and auxiliary. Um, as you can see, put that up there. you've got two key fobs and plenty of keys for the canopy as well. Um, seven speed automatic gearbox. Um, Hence, I'm sure you've seen the figures. Real world figures are about 40 miles per gallon. Uh, and we've heard of even people towing uh, big trailers and getting 35 to 40 as well. Obviously, that will come down to how you drive the vehicle and you personally. Um, but I think those figures, you know, the real world figures of the miles per gallon that you can achieve, phenomenal really for a big truck like this. Um, heated seats, high and also low. Well, obviously, they're not going to work because it's ignitions off we switch it back on as you can see they all light up and they do work as well um there's a cup holder um here and also in your armrest you've got a 12 volt socket as well put that up there um passenger seat the bolster again really good condition everything just feels nice and clean it also smells nice inside as well um as I say, I'm an ex-smoker, um, and to me, I can always pick up on cigarette smoke, and there's certainly no smell of that in here at all. Great condition. Um, so, you've got hill descent. Obviously, you can lock and unlock your vehicle from there as well. You've got an extra 12-volt socket, and there is one up above as well here. Move that out of your way, so you can put your phone there and charge it to whatever. Uh, in the back... Again, all the seats are in fantastic condition, as you can see, really nice and clean. Everything looks good. You've got your spectacle holder up there. And it's just, yeah, it's a, it's a nice, clean looking truck. Let's have a quick look in the back. So everything looks nice and smart. Um, this lifts up, so underneath, as you know, someone's left you a spare number plate, so that's good. So if you're towing, um, all your tool kits and everything are under there as well. Jack, etc. Let's put that back under there. Just pop 
pop the bonnet. Okay, so under the bonnet, um, follow suit really, as I'm sure you can agree. Uh, everything looks very nice and clean. Um, obviously it's got full service issues, so it's been well maintained and looked after. And there's no obvious signs of any oily residue on the engine at all. The belts look good. As you can see, everything looks as it should do really. Right, so let's have a quick look underneath. So everything's nice and clean and dry. Chassis looks in good condition. The uh, spare. So great news is it's another Continental and it's obviously matching and it looks brand new. And it's also a full size wheel as well. So that's great news. Okay, I think I've covered everything that you would need to see if you're here in person. Obviously if you feel I've missed something out or if you want to see something else in a little bit more detail, all my contact details will be on the very last page of the video. Um, but thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for watching. Um, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.